Welcome. Welcome to you all. It's heartwarming to see so many friendly faces. As you know, this year of 1857 did not begin well for me. But I still thank the dear Lord for my many blessings. I may be as poor as a church mouse, and my health could be better. But everywhere I go, I see the smiling face of an old friend who reminds me of when I've nursed him in battle. Just the other day, I was on the omnibus and I felt a hand on my shoulder. <laughs> oh, bless my soul! I thought it was you! Auntie C. Culp on my life! <laughs> oh, William Mitchell from the 47th. <laughs> oh, lost a few teeth for most of me hair since we last met. <laughs> oh, good to see you again, Mother. <laughs> Saved my life, you did. Meeting these dear men brings such joy to my heart. And that is something, my friends, that money can never buy. Oh, but I haven't introduced myself. My name is Mary Seacol. In September 1855, there was a big push to end the siege of Sebastopol. The Russians had held out for a year. Now it was time for British and French forces to storm the city. Oh, my dear friends, how can I begin to describe the horror of those days? The dreadful slaughter of our brave men as they stormed the first bastion. My favorite regiment, the 97th, cut to pieces. Oh, my lovely boys, gone. I've heard accounts of the charge of the Light Brigade. Could it have been any worse? I think not. I witnessed the whole thing and was the first woman to enter the fallen city. Not a building was left standing. Drunken looters roamed the streets. Everywhere, death and destruction. Blood and blackened remains of men and horses untended, dying British soldiers, maggots crawling in their wounds, rats gnawing at their poor limbs, young boys maddened with pain, glaring at me as I passed, weeping, and over it all, the sickening stench of death in a sky ablaze with fire. I was there, my friends. I was there. <laughs>